the military is not structured, funded, or trained for these type of operations. That doesn't mean to say they can't do it. But if you look at our current defense forces structured towards conventional warfare, so that is their primary aim, and everything else that they do is, is secondary. So it means that they are equipped, for example, for warfare. So they, they lack, for example, the, the vehicles and the infrastructure um, and manpower um, to have sufficient flexibility to deal with the many different roles that they are now expected to fulfill. So that's one. Yes. And then in terms of their training, you know, we are very critical of how soldiers behave. But this is the way that they are socialized. They are socialized to fight. Their default is aggression. And now we are deploying them in internal roles where they are amongst the population, where they need greater um, negotiation skills, right. uh, they need a greater level of diplomacy, and they are lacking the quality. So this is where we are sitting at present. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman. On 702.